So let's start to look at the legend box height and the box width in Charges 4. So first of all, what we need is the border template, which you can find here on charges 3com getting started. And this link is as well in the description box. So once you have, once you're on the site, copy this chunk of code. Then we're going to paste that in here. Then I will cut this out, put in the title. Save this refresh and there we are so let's start to work on this what we want to do here is to control the width and the height of this and by default or at least in charge s3 this was not possible but now it is possible all we have to do here is we have to go to the uh, charges.org we have to look here at the legend once you're here scroll down and we're going to look at the legend label configurations which is basically with a plugins within the legend and then here the labels option so i'm going to scroll down and then what we're going to do here in the options, we're going to say here, plugins. And then we're going to say here, the legend. And then what we want to do here is to pinpoint the labels namespace or the labels object. Within here, we can start to do anything specifically for, we're going to the box height and the box width. And what we're going, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this box width. By default, this is 40 pixels in width. So we're going to say here, well, we can just leave this 40 for now. And then we're going to say here, box height. And the box height, what it indicates here is the font size. Although I'm not 100% certain about this. Or well, basically the height is by default the font size of the current font. In that case, it would be 12 pixels. So this will be a height of 12 pixels, but we want to control this, save that, making it 20 pixels, and there you are. And this is so easy compared to charges 3. Before that was not possible, now it is easily possible. We can even make this 50, and there we are. What we can do as well is, what would happen if we would have a second data set? I'm going to copy all of these data sets here. All this data from data set 1, put a comma, paste that in there, and then I'm going to remove the, sec from the first value, so we get a different color for our box. Save this, refresh, and now you can see here, this works perfectly.